Today on Nate's Interactive Auto, Full Synthetic versus Conventional. Is Full Synthetic worth the high premium that we pay? Or is Conventional just as good? Well, we're going to find out with a series of tests. Starting off with a cold pour test, then a wear test with an engine oil wear testing machine. Next up will be the NOAC volatility test as well. Guys, don't forget to check out our tournament. Make sure you let us know which engine oils you would like to see in our 10W 30 weight oil tournament. And we're off to the races. Which engine oil will win? Guys, look, it's neck and neck. I can't believe how close this is. I'm not really sure about that price difference right now, guys, but it's not over yet. Can Full Synthetic pull out the victory? We allowed this motor oil to drop down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit before performing the test. Take a look at this photo finish to see just how close this really was. Now, the NOAC volatility test up next. You can see we weighed the coffee pot. This way we'll show you it's the exact same pot used in each test and the same coffee maker. Because if we use a different coffee maker or burner, well the test is definitely going to be different guys. Now we'll show you the weight after performing in this test and it gets up to operating temperatures. So we'll allow it to run for 4 hours. Then we'll see just how much engine oil was lost. Make sure you monitor the temperature closely and the vapor coming from the oil. The conventional motor oil started off at 567 grams before the test, now 565 grams after the test, with a loss of 2 grams. As you can see, this coffee pot weighs the same as it did in the first test, 367 grams, which is something I've noticed in other tests, that different pots are being used and so on, and I don't think you can receive accurate results this way guys but that's my opinion and I'm not saying these are the most scientific tests after all well I'm curious to see how it's going to come out on this one the full synthetic started off with 567 grams before the test now after 566 a loss of one gram full synthetic wins that test let's move on to the wear test Finally, time to weigh these bearings to see just how well each engine oil protected the bearing. As you can see, we're calibrating our scale to start off to make sure it's precisely accurate. Up first, the full synthetic bearing, 16.46 grams before the test. Let's go ahead and weigh our conventional bearing. 16.37 grams before the test. Now, let's show you guys 
the results after the wear test. Check it out. We're calibrating our scale. Now it's coming down to the moment of truth. I've always heard that full synthetic is so much better, but I've heard a few people try to say that conventional actually protects better. 16.44 grams. The full synthetic lost 0 0.02 grams only. Now for the conventional, 16.29 grams with a loss of 0 0.08 grams and losing to the full synthetic by 0 0.06 grams. Unbelievable guys. Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.